Now we will show you the master-slave mode of the techno dolly. That means basically that you connect the two techno dollies together with a coaxial cable and then they behave like a master and a slave. That means the slave does exactly the same movements as the master. To activate the slave mode, you just go to the settings menu, submenu slave settings, and then you activate the slave mode here. Okay. Now you typically have to bring the slave crane to the same position as a master crane. To do that, you use the go to mode. This techno dolly to your left side is a master and that techno dolly to your right side is a slave. So now I have already pressed the go to button and now I will use the go to to bring the slave crane to the same position as a master techno dolly. Now it has reached, reached the same position as a master techno dolly. Now I swap the two rocker units. I leave the unit of the slave crane here and take the master unit. When I start booming the crane, the master, the slave will do the exact same things. In many situations it is not sufficient that the slave techno dolly does exactly the same move as the master techno dolly. Typically you want to scale it down or to shift it in space because the slave crane is at the wrong position. To do that you go to the slave settings again and there is a submenu transformation. Now this window gives you a couple of options. Maybe the most important one is here, the scale option. Now I will give you an example of a move which is scaled down to one half of the size. So I enter 50% here. Now I again switch on the go to mode to bring the slave crane to the right position. As you have seen I have just entered a scaling of 50%. I have specified no shift. Because of that the slave crane has scaled down the master position by 50% to the center of the post. That's the reason that the telescope is shorter on the slave crane. And now you see if I move the master crane, the slave crane moves the same way but just to a smaller extent. If I move the master crane from the ceiling to the floor, the slave crane just moves one half of that. The same applies to other axes like telescope or track. The head of course still moves in a one-to-one -one way because we don't want to scale down the head angles. This would not make sense.
very often you have to shift the move in space. This is quite easy with the Techno Dolly Master Slave system. You just bring the slave crane to the desired starting position. You do it by checking the pictures of the camera. And once you are happy with the position, you go to the menu, the, the transformations window here, and press this match to master position button. It will automatically calculate your, the right shift values so that these positions now will correspond. Now I will show you a combination of a scaling, a rotation and a shift. The first thing I did is I have programmed with a master crane a move a half circle around this bottle. And then I have brought the slave crane into the opposite position on the other side of the bottle and have entered a rotation of 180 degrees and have used the match function. And now this is the result. Of course, for real shooting it would be necessary to make some fine tuning, but this is a basic operation.